No. Uh, just shoot button. Okay. I didn't know I had to put it on. <laughs> okay. We can all agree Run! that was not my fault. <laughs>Entropy 02. A game so good they named an anime character off of it. That joke fell flat, unlike her ass on the wall nearby my sister in law's door. I tried telling her that's a kid, she didn't care. I haven't played like a Half Life mod since that horror game I did. Oh god, it was years ago. Nightmare House 2. Yeah, I didn't even remember the name of the game. It always comes back to Nightmare House 2. People always revisit that thing. It's like one of the best horror Half Life mods. Do Gmod horror maps count? No. Okay, that's I was a, gonna say. That's a Gary's mod, that's a Gary's mod parody, not a Half-Life. There was one called Horror Re Horror Horror Ween. I'm glad to see I'm not the only one that struggles saying the word horror horror. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus, I'm not ready to come into the light. Oh hello. This game has really good storytelling. Can't wait to talk over it. You should put subtitles on. <laughs> you know what I hate about subtitles? For What's movies? That? When you put a movie on subtitles and it gives you like 20 different language options. For some reason with English, they just, it's always closed captioning. So you have to go, Paul will say, suck my cock, Ted. But then in parentheses, <laughs> it'll be like slams door. I'm like, can we just get rid of the sound effects? Yeah, like, I just want the dialogue. <laughs> I learned that with Crunchyroll today that if you, um, Crunchyroll offers both options. It has the closed captioning and just the dialogue. Yeah. I've tried learning up on Half-Life lore just for the hell of it, because I'm like, what what are, what are even are the Combine? And I started looking into that, and I'm like, yeah, they, they conquered Earth in like a couple hours? That's seven kinda, hours. It's called the Seven Hour World. That's awesome. And then I looked yeah. into what Metro Cops actually are, on how it's just captured people. And I'm like, well, w why do they listen well, to people? And then... Some of them are captured, but most of them are actually ones that joined willingly. Well, I learned about the cap sh the captive ones that to make them comply that whenever they like kill somebody or obey, it does like a like a endorphin release in their brain. So it's basically like the sensation of coming whenever they like kill you or attack <laughs> you. That's why they're always going oh when you kill them <laughs> because it's just the suit giving them pleasure for obeying or dying. Yeah. That that's like the scariest <laughs> thing ever to just go out into war and your enemies are like oh Oh. Every time they get a kill. <laughs> it's like, oh. Have you ever done a Gmod Half-Life 2 campaign run? I have. It's kind of funky, but I like using my own custom weapons that I get off the workshop. Yeah, that like blew away 15-year-old uh, me whenever I tried that. I was like, wait, I can play that in Half-Life? And then I would just go in with like god guns and just crash the game. <laughs> like the fucking, uh... Like the admin Desert Eagle. <laughs> That's exactly the one I use, the red one. <laughs> uh, hello. I love head crabs oh, fun fact. so much. I actually want to get one of the uh, beanie plushies of a head crab. Oh, yeah, I've been actually thinking. I've literally been looking at those on Amazon today. I was like, I kind of want to get one of these. Did you know that when they ported <laughs> Death Stranding 2 to Steam, they gave... Uh, What's his fucking face? Uh, they gave what's his face a head crab as a hat. Sam, yeah, they gave they gave him a head crab because they're like, thank you for like coming to Steam, pretty much. Or, I wonder what you get if you get the game on uh, Epic. Do you get like a Fortnite dance or something? A little off topic with the Half Life stuff. Yeah. Uh, I went. I ran back into something with <laughs> something called the uh, what are they called? Car fellas. Have you heard of them? Uh, no, is it it's like, like a machinima series? It's like a t no, it's a, it's an old series, like, reality TV show thing with, uh, like, Italian people in cars. There was one, there was one part that's called the, uh, Pizza C Caper, and it's like, it's just them bickering hey, about whose Get side gets who, and who eats on there. Stay the f on your side! You you're pissed! Stay on your you're side! Pissed. It's not mean. proper pizza etiquette! What do you know about- I kind of want to learn Italian just so I could scream in Italian. I've been watching a lot of these Souls parody animations to where the guy making them is Italian. And they'll just be screaming at each other in Italian and I have no idea what they're saying. But I'm just so invested because, I mean, people screaming in Italian just sounds magnifico. 
<laughs> Aiden Walker. That's your character. I would like to have a game like this to where you don't have a cool sounding name. I can't think of an un an uncool name. Like Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd sounds too cool. It would have to be like Bill Kettleman or something. Hello. Uh, yeah, you can kick in. You can kick in this game. That's all I'm gonna do. I <laughs> just kick everything. <laughs> <laughs> See, he just came. Look, we've all done a little kicking. Come on, man. Don't get on me. My credits. What are they talking about? My Chinese social score? No, combines get credits uh, for shifts they do. That earns them perks. That moment when <clears throat> the combine has a healthier work culture than most American minimum wage jobs. The thing is, that's actually really fucking true. It's just the only downside about it, if you don't obey or do your job, you're fucking dead. Or not even dead. You get a fate worse than death. You become a stalker. I bet if Walmart managers could do it, they would do that too. I bet. <laughs> so I'm fucking Mr. Beast products. <laughs> I've yet to see any of his products out in the... Wait, no, I saw his candy bars. I was going to say, they're always in Walmart. Well, I don't go to Walmart that much. I just don't like dealing with lines. I only I go to Walmart when I want to feel better about myself. Like, I go, God, I'm such a piece of shit. Then I just walk into Walmart, I'm going, you know, I'm pretty good. I'm an alright guy. I at least took a shower before I came here, so that's something. Did you hear about their new dress code thing? No. What? What do they got to do You can't walk in there and, like, uh, you can't walk in there in, like, pajama pants or anything like that. Then what's the point of going to Walmart? <laughs> exactly. People are fucking fighting them about it. Yeah, I... It starts with the Walmart pants, not the the pajama pants that they buy at Walmart. <laughs> Walmart pants. What would the Walmart pants even look like? Pajama pants. I mean, I can't Just say anything. Most of my Walmart. pants I bought at Walmart. I'm literally wearing a pair of Wranglers I got at Walmart right now. <laughs> Just wear a pair of jeans that have like pajama texture on them. <laughs> or even better, put your pajama pants on. But then put a pair of like clear plastic pants over those. It's like what? What? They should just make it a like a legal requirement to where if you want to go into Walmart, you have to wear like a three-piece business suit. I guess Walmart to me is not even much of a professional thing. I don't understand why they have to do a dress code with their customers. <laughs> Too many people were walking in with their sweatpants on and their dicks hanging out the zipper. <laughs> it's like all right, no, get get out. I don't even wear pajamas. But most of the time, I just wear gym shorts when I go to bed. If you actually yeah, well, go and look at my uh, my Halloween meetup video I did back in like 2018, 2019, in the yeah. video where they wake me up, those are the exact <laughs> clothes I still wear to bed years later. Like I'm just waiting for like an overlap in clothing to happen in a meetup video. It's like, yep, still have that, still have that, still have that. <laughs> Aww, look at them. Oh, you remember the larvas? No. Step on them. What? You know what that Step looks on. like? That looks like a what? really long toe with nail polish on it. <laughs> that and a dog's penis. <laughs> Red rocket. Red rocket. You gotta open the door, dude. What? I'm sorry, the you penis worms the door. distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta open the door. What? What door? That Kick door? the button. Oh. Kick the button. <laughs> There's a reason you're here, man. <laughs> Man, kicking it didn't do shit. I had to use my hands like a peasant. I'm just here to talk Man. and walk. Now I want a mod that makes the combine wearing uh, pajama pants. Oh yeah, since you're the pretty much the last combine in elites, you can command other combines. Just walk through it. Oh. You're a combine, you can walk through it. I'm not used to being on this team. <laughs> exactly. That's the whole point of it. You gotta, you gotta blow up those holes if you don't want enemies coming through. Oh, okay. Kabooey. All right, buddy. I got him. Let's go hug in the showers. Oh. Uh. All right. Go get him, buddy. <laughs> Did he just jump? Yeah, man. He's all about it. At least you know when you play a, <clears throat> a Half-Life mod, you're at least going to be playing a competently playing game. 
Please tell me this game takes us outside at some point because outdoor environments are my favorite in the Source engine. Yeah. They give off yeah, the good ambience. <coughs> well, it's goodbye, turret. Just pick it up. <laughs> Get him, buddy! Did I just learn an unlimited ammo hack? Not really. <laughs> A lot of people used to do that. But Fuck. at the same time... Oh, boy. Butthole. <laughs> yeah, you can knock him over by kicking him. <laughs> hey, no, that's not fair. You're not allowed to come out after I plug the hole. Man, he's got quips, too. I like how the game just gives these big, bright green glowing buttons, and I'm like, what do I do? What? <laughs> nope, no. Uh-oh, just gonna get chopped in half. <laughs> you think combine levels are on the same level of meme ability as like stormtroopers? Yeah, of course. I made it. I made one at least. <laughs> There's a shit ton of memes about these guys. Yeah, because when I was younger and I was getting into Gmod animation, me and some friends we were like writing down ideas for like a Gmod machinima series using stormtroopers. But then Disney acquired uh, the licensing, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not making a parody just for Disney to grab it. So I was thinking, like, what would be a good replacement yeah. for stormtroopers? Combines. Yeah, combines would be good, especially with the voice filter. The combine needs like a Barbie girl squad of pink soldiers. <laughs> no reason. I just kind of want it, and they're blasting Barbie girl on their intercoms. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever they like raid an apartment complex, I say, "All right, Barbies, let's go party." I mean, I feel like that would fit just fine into the Half-Life canon. I don't yeah. think it would be distracting <laughs> at all. No, not at all. Come on, Barbies. <laughs> Everybody's let's go not party. running from the. They're not running from the combine because they're killing people. They're running from the combine <laughs> because they're tired of that fucking song. And every time the Gordon runs in, all the combine go, "Ken." Oh, you need to go grab that in the boxes. Bunch of boxes okay. along the wall. There you go, you got them. Same them up, though. You're gonna fight a bunch of waves of bugs. Well, that's, and you have to... That's fun. You're gonna have to, uh... Also get rid of all their, uh... I pulp. pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna lose my voice. The bomb expert is here. Good track record, guys. Stay clear. Or don't. You don't need hey, to worry, because I'm just that good. Just walk up to the wall and then press the button. E? No. Uh, just... Shoot button. Okay. I didn't know I had to put it on... <laughs> okay. We can all... The green that was not my fault. <laughs> you turned proximity on on them. <laughs> oh my Look, what... god, you you killed Ron. <sighs> Ron knew what he signed up for when I involuntarily dragged him in here. You're gonna have to get all the holes. You know who was great at filling holes? Ron. But then he had to go and... <laughs> Get goofy on us. Can you guys do your jobs? Hey, look at the pretty laser. No, Ron, don't go into the light. Don't turn back. You missed the hole. I did? Yeah. Uh oh. oh. Uh, Evan. Big one. Evan, big one. <laughs> guys? <laughs> They're all dead, man. Run. What? <laughs> that thing killed them all. <laughs> Hey, I hear radio chatter. Get in there! Oh, I guess there's no saving oh, one. Oh no, run! <laughs> it's a canyon event. All right, boys, I'm here now. I will aid. You got one more hole. One more hole, one more hole. Eh. <laughs> Did you ever see that footage Spaz recorded of when we went and played that Roblox-esque uh, Battlefield game? 
and I had that no. combine voice filter on. We're using in-game chat, but I still have my Roblox, not Roblox, but I, I still have my combine filter on when we're doing in-game chat. And some guy like uh -huh. gets the jump on our squad and he kills us. And I let out like this this scream as he's killing me with the combo and we're just going Aah! and then the guy that <laughs> killed us as we're like slowly fading to death and you can still hear in game chat he goes did anybody else hear that what the fuck was that <laughs> oh god you gotta get to that ship before more show up okay yep They're so stealthy. <laughs> Sorry guys, ride's full. You'll have to get it when it comes back around. <laughs>